Hi everyone, today I'm here with Denise Nieves. She is a co-worker of mine at Century 21 affiliated in Valrico. And I just wanna give you a little bit of a backstory about Denise. Um, I met her back in 2015 when I became a realtor and I looked up to her as a mentor. She has been a very good friend, not only a coworker, but somebody I can actually confide in. And if I have questions, I run to Denise. So I do want to give you a little bit of a story about Denise that I absolutely love. I hope I'm not going to embarrass you. Um, okay. <laughs> very first time I had met Denise, I had asked her if I could host an open house with her. And she just said, sure, come to this house at this day at this time and we'll sit down. I'll teach you how to do it. So we sat down and our very first conversation was actually nothing real estate related at all, which kind of relieved me a little bit because I was so nervous. And um, it was about staying humble and having faith. And those are the two things that whenever I think of Denise, I think of her having faith first and foremost, her faith comes first, and remaining humble as a realtor, as a mom, as a wife, you always have to be humble. So Denise, my question to you today is this, what are you doing differently right now that you haven't done in the past? Pretty much just let us know, you know, if you're doing anything, tips and tricks sort of thing, um, let us know anything whatsoever that you feel like talking about. Okay, so good morning, everybody. Um, something different in the personal level, I'm eating more. <laughs> but I'm doing more exercise as well. So I'm trying to balance that uh, both things. Uh, oh, in professional level, I'm being protecting myself because I had to do virtual tours and I have to show houses anyway, we have to work. So I have my mask <laughs> and I keep this. Good. Hand sanitizer. Yay. You see how everything changed? Yep. And of course it's needed. <laughs> so we had, to, we had to take care of our customers it's, it's different because in the past we used to bring this yes and now this is not important or the tape <laughs> um so basically what i'm doing is just protecting myself protecting my clients and we're doing more visual stuff instead of like bringing the, the clients to showing um but you know i'm trying to stay home as much as possible I think that's uh, responsible to do and work from home like we're doing right now. So instead of being in the office in my office that I love and, and I miss, I'm here in my house and that's what I'm eating more. <laughs> well, I'm guilty of the same crime. Um, I'm a person who actually goes into the office almost on a daily basis every morning and does a bunch of office work. So I have my home office. Um, I've actually recently just transformed it into the children's study slash playroom because I can have them at my table making noise while I'm trying to have phone calls. So I have um, a little den in my bedroom, if you want to call it a den. It's not big enough to be one, but um, it's an alcove really. And I use that as my home office currently. And yes, being behind these four walls does get kind of annoying at times, but hey, it's what we're working with today. And just get outside, get some fresh air and get some exercise. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of FaceTime with my clients, which in the past, that was not the top priority, but now I have to make sure that my hair is not as bad because <laughs> they're gonna see me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, you see um, me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't wanna show you mine because this is, <laughs> everybody's gonna see it. But it's, it's been interesting and it's been fun at the same time because we are you know, adapting with technology as well and we have to learn no matter what, we have to do it. Yes. Um, so basically it's taking care of the customers. They, they know that I'm here for them and uh, I'm being in touch with all my clients. So it's not like we disappear. It's just different way of working basically and adapting to all this changing. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm trusting the Lord. As you said about my faith, look, I have my, <laughs> see that? This is my hot chocolate for the day. You're um, not going to like mine. Oh no, no, this is better. Look, this he's in control <laughs> so and just so you know i'm actually using my coaster as well oh look at that i have mine at my office here so yeah yeah 
So we are Centro 21 agents and we love our customers and we take care of the customer. I speak Spanish as well. And uh, Jan speak, uh, what, what's the other language you speak? Portuguese. Portuguese, okay. <laughs> I knew it was another one. <laughs> So, um, I understand a little bit of Spanish too, but I can't yeah, speak. We're here for the customer 24-7 and almost 24-7, for real. So if you know, uh, if you guys have any question about the market and how everything is changing, I mean, properties are still selling. It's just in a different way. Um, and um, we know that the market is hitting with all these people that they're not essential. Yes. They had to wait until everything come back, but it will come back. We're going to go through this, and I know we're going to get through this soon. So. That is true. Um, so everybody, pretty much our takeaway from this video here is stay educated, stay healthy, and make sure you protect yourself. Thank you for watching. And if you have any real estate related questions, Denise and I are here to answer your questions. Have a good one. Yes, and thank you. Thank you to all the teachers, to all the nurses, the doctors, everybody in the front line. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And law enforcement. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you.